Yeah, hello and welcome to the Bento Blitz show for today. That looks a little bit odd, right? Yeah, but I've got ah, got this one now, right? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let's get started. I go to the game view, and uh, I'm actually not going to wear the hood. That's too odd, <laughs> and not very, very um, comfortable actually. So let's get started. I have to stop the Casper game first and then let's see uh, what yeah so let's play Bogdan yeah I was <laughs> it is a bit large I probably could have um, done well with one size less um, but I <laughs> I simply routinely ordered what I usually had and I've lost some weight and uh, one smaller would have been okay but okay I'm going to wear it while hanging out at home and so on it's really not um, so important okay Bogdan Bogdan Gimasea Yeah, we have this thing again that the names are so, so long. Yeah, 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 I know. I didn't have time to fix it, sorry. Maybe a different, um, a whole different setup would be good. I'm using this one for quite a while now and it's kind of a mix between what Chess24 staff had uh, set up for me and then um, huh, maybe this one it could be interesting now um, probably e6 has to be played and then I can move the knight back and actually try to trap his bishop Maybe it will um, at least irritate him a little bit. Bishop f5, I can take and play queen g5. Okay, he's just removing it. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't think about this move at all. So, knight e1, yeah, that was the idea. And asking him some concrete questions. What is he doing now against f3? Like f3, bishop f5, I take it, queen g5. Okay, so he's saying I'm playing this far too slowly. Which is maybe uh, possible that he's right about that. But I still come from that school of chess where structure matters and... I don't know. I feel his structure is just too awful here. A knight to d4 or to f4. This would be ideal. Probably d4. Yeah, that's probably the best way. Because from d4 it attacks. Hmm, he wants to play d4 himself. And that's a bit of a pain actually. Okay, yeah, I can check here. Um, I'm such a stupid. That was so stupid. I should play knight c2 instead of b3, immediately going onto that square. Yeah, this is not, not that fantastic, actually. I mean, I, I'm still rather white here in this position, but. It's not like he's falling apart, which I thought would happen. Hmm, interesting. Um, yeah, but here I thought that this double attack is a problem. 
which means d5 is attacked and e6 is also a weak spot. So I'm going to win a pawn. And now, yeah, here maybe. He's still reasonably active, so it's not necessarily a super easy win. Mm, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Probably I should play e3. Yeah? e3 and knight to c3, something like that. So here. And now I can even go f4, e4. It would be also pretty good. So first e3, push the knight back or not. Okay. f4 is a good square. I have to be... Uh, he's also not super quick, so if I'm not falling asleep here, I will win. Yeah, okay. Thanks a lot for playing Bogdan. I don't want to really mispronounce your, your last name again probably now um is this this thing here with the with the um, with the name is this something that i can change let me check what is it it must be this one indeed just a moment there please Ha! Huh. Okay. Now yeah, I know what I need to do, but I have to, I have to do this with a little bit more uh, time on my hands. Okay. So the next game, maybe I can even change it for the, for the next one. Orest Wofk. Isn't that a title player? Wofk. There's at least one grandmaster with that name, but probably that's not him, right? He doesn't have the title in there, but a good rating. So, g4, hooray! Okay. Yeah, this is a line where a black um, should be very much fine. Queen a4 is very unusual though. They usually simply snatch the rook. Interesting. Okay. Uh -huh. Just goes back, interesting. So, hmm, yeah. Not exactly the most conventional position. Uh, I don't really want to help him with development by taking but it, it wasn't a terrible move. Taking on F3 I mean. Maybe knight b5 huh? is something that I should have paid attention to. No. Okay. It was a possible move for sure. I'm simply completing my development and then 
will um, yeah make up my mind about um, more concrete ideas. Knight c5 is something that I will definitely consider if he allows it because then my threat would be bishop e6 and then knight b3 or knight c5 could also support an e4 pawn push. Okay, so he plays it also in a slow way, so let's do this. Of course, the Italian with the, with d3 and knight c3 is uh, totally fine. It's, uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's super solid and definitely uh, playable. Um, you have to, however, I think, if you consider to play this with uh, knight c3 and d3, you have to look, um, uh, you have to check some theoretical details and, um, yeah, think about this for a moment because this is the kind of opening if you have no concrete idea what to do with white and you just like develop it's very very boring and stale and you need some ideas attached to openings like the italian with d3 and knight c3 otherwise you're just falling asleep yeah you and your opponent probably and um i don't think it's bad or anything you just have to um, yeah, I have a somewhat clearer idea what you want to do. I know that I once prepared against it with black, against Israeli Grandmaster uh, Arthur Kogan, Kogan, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And uh, he plays, and uh, I, still, I, I, I still think he does play it. Back when I prepared it was 2011. Um, he played this Italian with uh, knight c3 and when I first saw it I couldn't quite believe that that would be his repertoire because he is a very interesting um, and active player and uh, then when I looked at this a little bit I uh, yeah it registered that it is actually not so dull if you have some ideas like uh, Koran has ultimately ended up not playing 1e4 at all so it um oh i missed that move that is um that is extremely annoying because i wanted um i mean I, I could have had a somewhat clear advantage with other ways and this is now yeah this is not all that clear um yeah rook c8 even as bishop b7 but what can I do? Yeah, this is not really going well. But um, what what at the end will happen? Yeah, it will be some kind of wacky click fest. We know that from the Banter Blitz Cup. 3-0 is basically a bullet game. the maid I don't want to blunder this yeah I mean I wasn't quick but he was slower um, now that wasn't good right I should have been um, a lot better than the position that I had thanks for playing Orest okay who is showing me Ryan Shah Ryan Shah okay or not no, no. yeah here here we go i got black and i got a black coffee e3 i mean if i have the garter shirt on i might as well play the garter opening aha
the hippo. Yeah, so why does playing with a3 and h3, which is not looking all that all that dangerous, admittedly. Okay, so I'm going to attack d4 and I expect him to push d5 after which I overlooked that he can take on e6 now. All right, yeah, okay, it's not, not the end of the world, but I mean, white setup is a little bit passive. So the d, d takes, f takes looks a little bit, yeah, d takes, f takes, the g6 pawn looks pretty weak, but it's not, um, not a decisive uh, issue. Not sure if this is good, but I'm I'm really playing this um, without any particular knowledge. All right, so he just pushes g3, and why not? Yeah, not a bad move. Yeah, provoking him a little bit here. Now he has f4 on the radar. I can play this and try to make it more difficult for him to do that, but mm, I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. Mm. I'm just going to castle. This is five minutes. It's important, so I'm. I don't have to play panic mode on the clock. Yeah, white is certainly um, better here in some to some degree, but not quite sure how much. Maybe c6. Looks funky. <laughs> All the points on the sixth rank. Okay, so this is a bit of a slowish move. I did not expect this. I want I want to just take twice here and get a bit of space. Pawn should take no. Yeah, you can play that. It's not a not a bad move. Mm, yeah, probably back huh? Now, um, is he going to play f5? And should I stop it with playing f5 myself? This is a tough one. Tough decision, really. Yeah, white playing f5 is, um, is dangerous for me, for sure. If I go f5 myself, he has rook e6. That is very dangerous as well. Okay. <laughs> so if you know that both things uh, are bad, uh, you play one of them. Yeah, I'm really not sure. It looks pretty awful to allow rook e6. But I wasn't really quite sure what else to do. Yeah. Rook e6, g6, and d6 is attacked. So my, my choice is limited. Huh? I have to take care of both. Knight f6, now I'm at least attacking d5, even though I'm not threatening to take it, I think. Yeah, it's a pretty awful, pretty awful move. Uh, sorry, pretty awful position.
Yeah, bishop e3 was covering d5, but it was also <clears throat> a very slowish move. Yeah, I think he probably should go back or I don't really uh, see knight b6 being dangerous. Or is he calculating something already very concrete? Uh-huh, okay. I think this is a bit strange, honestly. If I go here. Yeah, I can take it. He has stuff like rook takes d6, but that is not, not a problem. Okay, so I won two pieces for a rook, which sounds good, but the d pawn is dangerous. That is absolutely sure. Yeah, maybe yeah, that that should be fine. Bishop here. Or what is best? Not 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 so easy. I can also play rook d6, which makes some uh, rook d8. Yeah, let's go rook d8. If I get d6, I'm more or less winning. Okay, now what next? Yeah, a couple of possible. Rook d7 is kind of the safest move. Let's do it. King f7, king g8, f7. Yeah, for sure, but... Mm. Ah, I have, I have I've missed something. If he takes takes rook e1, I wanted to play bishop f8, but he has rook e8 then. That is a bit of a pain. Aha, uh -huh. he doesn't change he doesn't trade. Okay, bishop f8. Yeah, now I'm I'm having enough control here and should win. Yeah, bishops strong, very strong. Yeah, Rook was trapped. <laughs> I think it was trapped. All right, thanks for the game, Rian Shah. Now, um, Vincent Brasseur is challenging me or not? Oh, he is. Okay. And the game is starting now. Okay. Let's go e4. And um, yeah, we had uh, we had this discussion earlier with the Italian. Well, here bishop c4, he can take on e4. It's a bit of a gamble if he knows it or not. 
he knows it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is actually not um, a huge issue. I mean, black is completely fine, but I'm not uh, worse here with white. Knight b4 is actually interesting. If he knows that, he knows an awful amount of theory for 1700. No, didn't do it. This is actually a playable position for white. Black has no problems whatsoever, but it's not like um, white is worse. Bishop d6 now. I probably should have played bishop c4 here to get to that Italian that we talked about earlier. But um, I'm kind of basically conditioned to play knight c3 because that's what my book uh, <laughs> recommends. And then I'm like automatically playing the move and then only later, okay, well, I could have done something else. Okay, now this is um interesting position. Let's see. Is he going f5? I don't think so. f5. f5, I can probably play bishop d5 check. Yeah, that should be annoying. Yeah, that is definitely annoying. Okay. So what now? The other way to play this is bishop to g5. Hmm. I then maybe knight, no knight e7, I can also check him. Huh. Okay, bishop d5. Bishop, bishop e6. Well, bishop e6, I can also take c6 and d5, win a pawn probably for some compensation, compensation for black, I mean. If he moves the king, I have knight g5, which is definitely going to be an issue. No, he has to play bishop e6. Okay, now, um, I was also thinking about taking and again knight to g5, but it's probably not that convincing. Yeah, this way I win the center pawn. But maybe again, maybe he has some compensation for it. Okay. This is, uh, that would be surprising if that is compensation, at least in my my mind. I thought he um, he needed to keep the bishop on the board. Well, yeah, I can still claim that with the opposite colored bishops and so on. Hmm. Bishop on d5 is not exactly <laughs> exactly a bad piece, huh? Okay, now um, c4. Yeah, c3 is just going to take. Yeah, he still has compensation. He still has compensation. Yeah, I mean, I can return a pawn, something like bishop e3, like bishop e3, queen takes b2, um, queen d2, something like that. This is maybe not a bad decision from a practical point of view, but it is extremely, extremely lame. Hmm, yeah. I'd like to play for a win here, even though it's probably probably too risky to do so. Yeah. 
I thought that without a little bit of air for the king, it can't work, but maybe. Yeah. Well, a tough one. He definitely has some play, and it's not very comfortable. Maybe I still should have played. Uh, maybe I still should have played c3 immediately. I don't think he had a tactic there against c3. Uh, what I forgot was to open the YouTube and Twitch chat, which I have done now. Now after h3, I'm sorry, um, now he takes a bit of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not sure. Queen g6, is that the idea? Yeah, I have to push the bishop away. The YouTube comment comment just says, just flag him. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, you can do that. But I still try to uh, find some something reasonable. And then you can still flag people if you have no idea how to win otherwise. Okay, now I want to play the bishop out, but there is no really good way to play it. Ah, yes. He has f4. That, that could be a real issue. I'm just preparing to move the bishop. Okay, now, 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 what? The, this is hanging b3 there's going to be queen c3 okay no i cannot change the screen so that can, that we can see the rating not during the stream and i didn't have time to do it beforehand his rating is 1734 Always is tricky if we have two long names. And I don't think I can change my name. I could just change my name to CE or something like that. <laughs> but um, I don't think this is uh, an option. Yeah, he's probably going to play F3 here. Oh, the time. That's a good remark. Talking about flagging the other guy when you have no time yourself is a bit of a problem. Yeah, I don't care about the H pawn. Use your king. Double attack. Yeah. And I won on time. Yeah. That was not really so convincing. Yeah. But he had compensation. I mean, he definitely had some compensation. Even, even here, yeah. This is not like winning or anything for white. Um, I'm pretty sure you can play better than I did. But it's not really something that... Uh, is so easy not, not at all i don't think there's an easy fix for that for that screen thing here i don't really think it is 
Can I, let me check one thing. Well, layout effects, width, can change the width. Maybe that was enough. I mean, they had, they have, they need to really have a really long name so that it doesn't fit now. Cool. Um, and now, um, coppers. No, that's a non-premium. Super Rico. Yeah, you had sure, absolutely. Vincent Brasseurs uh, says in the chat, he thinks. Um, he had good compensation. I agree. Absolutely, you had. Now, Super Rico should play. But he doesn't. He does not play. Instead, we have Viking Power. Hilderos, uh, yeah, 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 you have to be a premium. That's one of the premium perks on Chess24, being able to, to, um, to play the banter streamers. Okay, Viking power. Usually I can almost pre-move G3 here, but maybe I can do, let's play a more mainstream Queen's Gambit. And he takes it. That's not good news because I have no clue. Aha, uh -huh. okay. C6 is a bit strange because you usually want to play a quick C5 and attack the white center. Okay, yeah, okay. I don't mind. G give me the center, please. So I want to make it, wow, wow, it's very weakening move. Yeah, I can, I can also just develop. Yeah, there, there's a remark in the YouTube chat. I should choose more high rated ones. I don't mind to do that, but there simply have not been uh, high rated challenges at the moment. So it's not a matter of not wanting to do it, but a matter of no opportunity. Now, if I go here, he cannot take d4 because of bishop c4 winning the queen. And where is the queen going then? Not totally clear. Maybe bishop c4 immediately was even better. Okay, we can do this. Knight takes, queen takes, wins a chunk. Oops, a chunk of material. And you can also argue about the back rank, but there is no mate somehow. Like rook d3. Rook d3 is a bit of a. Huh. You can actually do that. Uh, rook g3. Because if he, I mean, I can just take the bishop, but there is no way for him to save it and prevent knight g6, rook h3 mate. So this was the secondary idea. Yeah, the good thing about wins like that, cannot lose on time. Okay, thanks for the game, Viking power. Now, the request was for higher rated opponents. The highest rated challenge I currently have is 2206. 
and I'm going to take it. I really don't mind. I would play 3000s all the time because that would uh, get my rating up, but <laughs> um, they're not challenging me. Okay, now Super Rico. He's in the chat, so. Any more tea times coming soon? I haven't done anything on my channel this year, and this is already two months. Yeah, it's it's tough to promise some uh, to promise anything. Super Rico can play again. Yeah, maybe your browser settings or something. I'm not a tech person. I mean, not in that detail level, at least. Okay, let's play Dunder, Dunder Height, Dunder Height. Yeah, I don't really want to promise anything regarding videos on my channel because I'm so much involved in projects. One is currently close to uh, completion, probably. <laughs> I know it sounds a bit mysterious, but that's how it is. I'm uh, working on many, many interesting projects and it's um, sometimes really difficult to find find the time for anything else than those projects. Okay, so I played this regrouping knight to f7 in order to threaten knight g4 and then go back to f7 here and have a pretty good position for that knight. It's fairly active. So this one. Yeah, I can do that. Put more pressure here and now develop the bishop. Yeah, I'm fairly happy here. This is a, this kind of structure is fa uh, fairly well known, but I'm just wondering here if I can do something more. It's fairly well known, but it's a bit unusual that black has the bishop here. And uh, I do have it here. Mm, not sure. C4, yeah? It's probably white's idea. I wanted to answer that with B4. Okay. Hmm. I'm a little bit, I don't, I don't quite see what he's doing here because it looks so outlandishly passive. But he's still solid, right? Okay. Um. No. Uh, yeah, I was pre-moving and I mean, okay, taking with the knight uh, would have been somewhat ridiculous, but you never know. Might still be, might still be played. Okay, threatening knight c3 here. And I'm aiming to open the position here and see if I can get something going against his king even. He cannot really move all that much. But um, now that I look at this, hmm. Yeah. yeah in the, the YouTube note, also on Twitch, Jordi saying, He's being defensive to get the flag. That is possible. Absolutely possible. Yeah, this is all not ideal and not what I planned, but... I'm active enough, I think, to not be 
in danger. That's a pain. That this actually works, I mean, it's a bit of a pain. No. Not sure. I've got various ways here to defend. And the main problem really is the time. Oh, wow. Threatening made now. I've got 14 seconds. I have some good pre-moves now. Yes. No way to prevent it. Yes. Whew, that was close. Thanks for the game, Dunderheit. Whew. Okay, I'm going for a third try. Again, Super Rico, who has changed his browser. Let's try again. And now we have a game. Yeah, not... Not that E6 is a bad move against Bishop F4, but... But um, I wouldn't usually play it. Okay, so he's not playing this uh, London system to bore me to death. That is uh, good news. Okay, yeah, I need some counterplay here. <laughs> you cannot just sit there. The good thing is that if my counterplay arrives, it's going to be pretty dangerous with uh, b4 um, yes here we go mm, yeah. I have to take care of bishop to c7 that could be a thing now let's move the queen away and prepare rook c8 Oh, really? Okay. Didn't think that this could be a problem. No, quickly, quickly getting play now here. Yeah. Okay, I can just castle actually. There's nothing particularly risky about it. Okay, now let's um, see if we can end this game. Bishop here. For knight c3 check. I don't 
think this is so dangerous which could be the typical famous last words but I don't see it let's say rook takes h6 g takes queen h3 I have bishop g5 for example and of course I have the counter threat knight c3 okay I have to okay well that looks extremely slow Yeah, I don't know. I don't see it. Okay, now Queen G six I can also simply take yeah. it takes G seven. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, queen, queen takes huh, is now possible. I just wonder if I need to under promote. And I don't know how that works here. <laughs> this should be two, you know. This isn't actually all that clear. What am I doing here? That isn't so clear. Bishop check, he can go king d2. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I don't see a mate, is the problem. Hmm, that was not really all that necessary. And I don't see a mating a mating net or something like that. Ah, what a stupid idea. I was thinking I'm winning with queen takes. I'm not sure what exactly I was thinking. Because I can simply do this and white resigns, of course. This is completely clear. But uh, I thought I can win with, with just... That was stupid. I was thinking here, you know, this one. But he can go king d2. And then <laughs> it makes no sense at all. <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense. I, I mean, I can simply take on b3 with the bishop bishop and it's over, of course. Okay. Now, oh, that was a fun game. Thank you for playing Super Rico. Now, playing Friedel. Friedel. Here we go. Or maybe not. I right, here we go. And now my real move against Bishop F4, not E6. Mm-hmm. 
No, it's five minute chess important. Always have to make a, a real mental note about this. That uh, I have a bit more time. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the idea of this move? I don't understand. And now, ah, okay, the idea is very, very simple. <laughs> I cannot take on a2 because of knight c7. Yeah, oh, great. Huh? That's not exactly rocket science, but it was still enough to, <laughs> to be <laughs> overlooked. Anyway, it's not a big issue. I can simply play normal moves and I'm okay. Yeah, come on. I'm... It's like losing like a million tempi. Yeah, it, it has it has to be some kind of drawback. Yes, it had some drawback. Hooray! Okay, it doesn't take on f7. Okay, so make the king move, I guess. And now what? No. Yeah, I, I need rookie one mate, yeah? That would be nice. Uh, okay, not going to get it. No, actually, eh, it's not too bad. Okay, I just figured out, I want to be on the long diagonal. This is a tempo. And now queen a8, that looks annoying for white. So that the knight on f3 cannot move. Mm -hmm. Let's cover that. You can also play rook e3 now, but I have a different idea. This one is threatening g5, g4. Yeah, but we will trade, trade some stuff now. Okay, let's. Want to increase my coordination a little bit and then see to convert. Queen b1 is also something he has to watch out for. Yeah. And the knight has absolutely no square to go to. Yeah, just trading down everything here. All right, thanks for the game, Friedel. Now, aha, you wanted a high rated game? Here we got it. What's the score, Shelling? 50, one plus one for me. This is game 100, game 100. I'm leading 50 to 49. <laughs> That's cool.
Aha, that is rare. Taking at precisely that point. Knight c6, I think, looks normal. Hmm, that is a pretty risky looking move. So if I move the knight, it's going to go knight to d5. There are already a couple of cool tactics here, yeah? and one is that bishop b7, I can answer with knight takes f7. That's a nice shot. So he couldn't do that. And now what? a4? probably going to play f6 now. No. I thought f6 would be the move. Yeah, I could have played knight f5, knight d5. Tough to say. Queen c2 is going queen to c7, threatening bishop takes f2, I guess. I have f5 before though. I'm, uh, I'm fairly sure that White must be better here, but uh, it is of course complicated. I think white should be better simply because of the development advantage. And um, that should mean something. Knight d3 is also possible. Yeah, it looks very good actually. He more or less has to play the bishop back, after which I take and play rook c1. My development advantage is really scary. Yeah, I'm not sure. I maybe have something better even than this, but it's very good for white. And I know that at the end of the day, he's going to be quicker than me. So I'm happy with the line that is better for me. And that doesn't feel all that difficult. Yeah, you can take, I think I'm going to do it. It's not, not clear because many uh, variations are probably quite a bit better for white. 
Well, you cannot take a4 now or e4 because b6 is hanging first. Maybe bishop a6, knight b6, bishop f1, knight a8, bishop g2. Hmm. Okay, now what? Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to cover e4 here. Simply as I simply refuse to believe that he can take it. Okay, um this one, yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually overlooked that a4 is hanging. That was my problem here. There's not a deep idea. I simply gave it away. Too slow. I have a nice little trick. If you place knight d3 with knight e7, I think. This one? This is nice. Yeah, I, I, this was the idea with knight coming to c6 that this tactic was on. I was thinking this, this was my line that I had seen. And uh, the way it, it, it was played, uh, it was a bit a bit of the same, actually. Yeah, thanks for the game. Shelling, that was a good one. Now, who is challenging me? The Blade Reaper. Ugh. People, give yourself nice names. The Blade Reaper. I'm shaking here. Brr. Well, it could work as a movie, right? Yeah, famous, famous legend against the Blade Reaper, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to complete my castling here. And then see what he's doing. The London system is really a bit of a pain sometimes. I actually think that you can play it in a bit of an interesting way. If you look at, um, if you look at um, games by top players, particularly in Blitz, you see that they are not playing this uh, in a very boring fashion. They really have some idea and play actively. And this is a reason why this opening is getting a little bit more into fashion. Um, but sometimes on the on the amateur level, people play it in an absolutely boring way. I know, but it worked. It was a pretty simple trap, but it worked. The poor bishop on d3. I played h6 so that bishop g5 was not possible. If I would have played e5 a move before, he would have had... Uh, this is working. What? 
What the heck? I'm not winning a piece. Life's not fair. What? Hmm. Huh. And now I, I don't have anything better than this kind of a lame move. Hmm. Now you kind of think he falls into some kind of kindergarten. What? Now I take it. <laughs> what? <laughs> that makes no sense. He just said knight to f3. And now don't play e5, please. For queen g2 mate. I saw that h3 is hanging, but rook d8 is also pretty good. Yeah, thanks for the game, Blade Reaper. Now, um, Dirk is challenging me, or Dirk S. He doesn't even, he has no game history with me, so new opponent. Happy to take it. Travel Freak says I had a free bishop on d3. Uh, no. I don't think I, I did. In any case. Yeah, so we play the main line of the Mardel Plata variation of the classical King Zinian. And my opponent, rated 1800, obviously has taken half a year off his job and learned all the intricacies of this variation. Um, okay. So, um, night before, probably. I have no idea, really. No, I'm not playing um, chess on Facebook. The only platforms I do play on is, um, is Chess24 here in the banter shows and I also sometimes play on um, on uh, Lee Chess. Mostly, um, yeah, some bullet games for fun. I'm getting completely annihilated here by Dirk S. He just knows the theory like a million times better than I do. Knight c6 is coming. Knight takes b6 is coming. Wow. Yeah, I need to manage g4, g3 for some sort of, some sort of play. Oh, 
Wow. Wow, that is a crazy bad position. Um, you can challenge me on the Chess24 website if you have a premium account. I mean, you can also challenge me without premium, but I'm not going to play you because that is the prerequisite for having a game in uh, in the in the banter shows. Yeah, just knight c6 yeah, and. Uh, I cannot take this, then I have to play queen e8 and give up a whole host of material here. Amazing, amazing how bad this was. Quickly. I know that I lost against this line in one of the, in, in, a, in another band show, when someone just blitzed out all the theory moves and annihilated me. I simply had no way to come back. It was just so awful. The only tournament that I'm going to play uh, is scheduled for uh, in September small tournament in Bavaria, in Ortenburg, near Passau. Uh, I already confirmed my participation as a tournament that I won last year. And uh, I'm playing there every year. But that's going to be the only one don't play much tournament chess anyway and um, yeah considering the situation with the coronavirus it's also a bit difficult to schedule stuff even if you would want to play I mean we have not yet heard from Granka open but I would be very surprised if it would happen Now I'm somewhat, somewhat back into this. I just have to get the queen to h4 and deliver mate. That's the only thing I need to do. Okay, then he got an option g5. Uh, anyway, I'm going for it. Straight away to H4. It's not yet made, yeah, if I'm getting to H4 because it still has Rook e1 and bishop g1 as a defense. But it's kind of a no risk, no fun situation. Now, yeah, I can take d7 and I should probably do that. Okay, knight f4, I can still play first. It threatens the maid. Queen h1 and queen g2 maid is the threat. So he's not able to save the knight anyway. Yeah, he probably has to cover g2 somehow. But with 30 seconds, Nah, he's 
it's not going to make it. Yeah, I thought about that. The knight might come to g4, right? If I move move the king. No, it's still mate. So let's play. Okay, now I can take g2. Yeah, come on. He's got 17 seconds. And threatening queen h3 now with mate coming. No, and I'm going to mate him. Now, okay, you know that I was totally lost after the opening. Yeah, I mean, I know that this is a line, but how on earth do you defend with black? I mean, I kind of have to play b6, right? I just, just don't know. It looks really awful, this position. But um, there must be some way to get this to work. Anyway, so uh, I still have a couple of minutes left and I will take a three minute challenge. There is one, the Ulysses Contractor. Three minute works fine. Ulysses Contractor. Like I can go e6 for a pre-move. Okay. Okay, he played some um, non-theoretical setup. Not really threatening Black's uh, position all that much. Queen e1, okay. What is he up to? Queen h4, trying to mate me? Don't think it's all that dangerous. Oops, come on. I'm just going to totally stop any f4, f5 by white. It might not be the best move, but it's a very safe move and easy to play. That I don't have to check him uh, playing f5 all the time. And I'm basically saying, okay, you can do something on the king side, I don't care. And I have a5, a4 and so on. Oh, I, I completely missed that this was hanging. Ouch. Knight b3 is such an odd move. Eh? Such an odd move. Hmm. I have to be very careful now because this is not really. Oh. He can actually take on e6 now. Yeah, or this one. That is similar. Oh man, I don't really want to lose against this opening, but it looks like I managed. Pooh. That's a lot of material. Very difficult to make something happen here. Currently, he, he doesn't have any open file, which helps a little bit. 
So the rooks um, are not all that active. Attacking c2, not a big deal really. Can go rook c1 if he likes. <laughs> Queen a4 would have blundered the knight. Yes. Don't do that. Yeah, he's playing extremely slowly. Debatable, but the, the way to do something in this game is to win on time. Flag will is super slow. Uh, I won on time. Now that was extremely silly. I simply basically almost pre-moved there because in my mind I was playing a5 here anyway. Next move is a5 and knight b3 is, uh, I'm sorry, a completely, th that move makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, because I can just play queen b6 and cover it and I'm fine. And then a5, a4 and then he's standing in my pawns. So in the way of my pawns, and I, I simply didn't, didn't compute, I just played a5 and it's immediately terrible because it is probably the most important pawn and um, on top of it, I mean I wanted to prevent d4 which is strategically very desirable but at the same time he has an g5 winning and then ugh, yeah that happened. Oof, yeah. Okay, thanks for the game Ulysses Contractor. Um, I'm going to start with the English show in just uh, two minutes or so maybe uh, you will join there uh, the german show uh, not the, that was the english show i'm starting with the german show the geschwätz blitz in just a moment and of course i'll be on in a couple of days um it will be the sunday by the way not the monday because i cannot really say um, if there's some kind of logic behind that but every family member that i have has uh, this year the birthday on a monday so i'm kind of Next Monday, the Monday after that, <laughs> it doesn't work. Anyway, thank you, uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.